bullshit. Absolute horseshit. We should be used to it at this stage, but how do you get used to shit weather all the time? See, we have this thing called May. May's the problem. May lulls us into this false sense of security. And then yeah. July comes along and we're just like, Ugh. It's a shithole. Ah, uh, we're good at some stuff though. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> well, um, we're good at taking delight in Iceland beating England. Uh, is it genetic? Is that really petty of us? I For us know. to get knocked out in that same round and then just be scoffing at England saying, oh, I had my hands I had my hands in the air, I was roaring laughing, mm. I was nearly squealing with delight. Yeah. We've yeah. both been through banking collapses, we both have the same amount of letters in our names. Yeah. Um, They've got true. Sigaros and Bjork and we've got Dolores Reardon. Dolores Reardon <laughs> and, 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 and Keela, you know. Bono. Uh, uh, yeah. Bonner. Come on, you buy, singing. Come on, you buy. Not too bad. How are you? Ah, uh, sure, look. And all good things must come to an end, huh? Yeah. Look at. <laughs> we, had a, we had a good run. We had a good run. It was a hell of a lot better than Poland four years ago. And, and when Robbie put the, the pillow in, we had one hour of absolute dreams. Ah, <laughs> fuck, man. It was unreal. Me. You're happy enough to be home, are you? Ah, yeah, yeah. Now, when we're, set, we're sitting down for the evening there. Catching up on the old home and away, and uh, Jesus Christ, I'm absolutely exhausted after watching it. Um, unbelievable man. Um, massive explosion in the car, in the car, in car. Massive explosion. Oscar's dead. Brendan. Oscar's dead. Um, Hannah's dead as well. Um, that's his aunt. Oh. Ricky. Oh. Aunt. Ricky. What? Home and away. Oh. Hey, Jay, I wanted to talk to you just about the game. He's a mess. He's beside himself. Beside Josh. Josh has been outed as the murderer of Charlotte. I and emailed you. Out. Unbelievable. What are you talking about, Brendan? Olivia, man. Right, Olivia had an abortion. Cat and Ash. I you emailed you to say? tell you that. Okay, well, look, let me just finish telling you the whole way. But Cat, Ash, and Billy. What I said to you in the email was that I just wanted to wrap everything up nicely for Friday's show and just get your overall verdict on the Euros. I don't really want to hear about Home and Away. But your man, like, there's loads of football left, like, the Euros are still going on, you know, like, like, Cash and Ash, who are now together, by the way, and Billy, were briefly kidnapped as well, as well as everything else. And, to top of all the off, man, what do you hear this? Irene, Irene has been kidnapped indefinitely. I mean, like, Euros of all, you couldn't write this stuff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Is that all you have now, on the Euros? You're not a fan. Is that all you have on the Euros, Brendan? Is that everything? It's just TV snobbery now at this stage. It's TV snobbery, you know? And that, so that, that's it, Jim. Nothing to add to finish up. Well, you know, chat to me tomorrow, sir. I'm going to find a few more stickers. Yeah. i chat to you tomorrow then, Brendan. Yeah, do. We'll yeah. talk about football then. And all the way. Yeah. Great. Have you seen Desperate Housewives? Come on, you pie singing. Can't tell you where it was sourced, they can't tell you anything about it, like the way you'd be able to tell me. Double chocolate cheesecake, that's what I've got for you. Okay. Yeah, you you go ahead. You how you want to have your cake and eat it, you go I for it. I do, yeah. Look, you can get the cream in there and all. You could eat a little bit of the cream. You go wait and all. <laughs> I'm basically an enabler for your filth eating. You yeah. just say, oh great, we're shooting for the weekend, I'm going to buy the filthiest food I can and eat it. Are we getting this, yeah? Okay. Did not say a word just yet? Okay. That's a nice, healthy uh, Here we go. dollop there. There we go. A little bit of coffee there now. That is a sugar explosion, is it not? I just feel my depression just slipping away. Like, <laughs> it's evaporating. <fucking> <laughs> it's like, oh, oh my God. The dark clouds. Oh yeah. my God. I'm going to be an animal now. Did you know in a study... Um, of uh, mice, we'd say, I don't know if it's rats, but uh, they put cocaine down and they put sugar. And uh, every time they had to go and get either one, they'd get an electric shock. And basically, the mouse was willing to die for sugar and not for the cocaine. Yeah, yeah. Made them um, look more addictive. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I, um, I'm pretty much, um, I'm on board with that mouse. I want you to close your eyes because I'm gonna I'm gonna put something in your hand. Yeah. 
It's going to make you and me very happy. Go on, yeah, you're building it up now. Don't open your eyes, just put it straight into your mouth, okay? No, put really? It, put it straight into your mouth, okay? Are you putting it in? Yeah. Mango, is it? Or what's up? That's dried mango. Now, I eat bags of that stuff. Bags. It's nature's cheesecake, okay, Frank? Dried fucking mango. Yeah. Now that is a drug. That's a real drug, okay? That's filth. That's proper filth. That's what the fuck is wrong with you? I keep you with something like that now. Uh, what are we gonna do at the weekend? Because the weather is a bit pants. It's a bit iffy, and it's a bit uh, Julyish. Julyish. July has arrived uh, in a flood. Um, yeah. Do you want to know what I'm going to do this weekend? Tell me. Tell me before I tell you. I think it might as well, yeah. Uh, um, noodles gone away. It's Saturday. <gasps> Session! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she's leaving me with the kids. Mm. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Microwave dinners and movies. Yeah, we probably will go to the cinema, but we might actually get the bus into town to go for chicken wings. And I might get a beer, and that, that would be the highlight. If I got them all on a bus into town and I got to have a beer and chicken wings, yeah, that would be the highlight of my weekend. Do your kids own wellies? Um, yeah, might do, yeah. Well, would you not bring them out to Groove Festival in Carudry House over the weekend? Because it's very family friendly. Oh, yeah, go on. It's very family friendly. Yeah. And also, the lineup is very kind of dad rock, which is what you are. You are a yeah. dad. You're wearing your Smiths teeth. Now the Smiths, Smiths will not be at it. They, they, they were they were too busy. They you know clashed with their their touring schedule. Uh, but there are a lot of kind of dad rock specials. They're ocean color scene, baby. Um, who are their dad rock? They're a guilty pleasure of mine. I have yeah. to say, during the whole kind of Britpop era, early Britpop era, they were a, a mainstay of mine. Mm -hmm. um, the Blades are gonna be there. Legendary Irish band. Yeah, okay. They're back. They're playing quite a few shows. Um, they have been playing a few shows the last kind of few years. They reformed. They do big sellout nights at Olympia. Still brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, Aslan, the Lan, the Lan yeah. are going to be there. Yeah, never into them that much. But yeah, still. I'm still, yeah, you know, hats off. Yeah. Um, Neville Staple from the Specials is going to be playing at it. So okay. a little bit of ska. So this is definitely going to be. The slightly slower festival going audiences are going to be at that. Not slower, the but, older but, but the, what you're saying. it's the mellower end God. of summer festivals. I am the older ones now. I know it's obvious that I'm the older ones. But. If you are about 10 or 15 years younger than the target demographic yeah, of Groove cool Festival, uh, you can go into Dublin City Block Party, which is happening again it is, uh, over Saturday evening and Sunday evening. Uh, it's on the Tivoli grounds there. And District 8, just there on Francis Street. There's yeah. quite a big yard in behind the Tivoli Theatre. Unless they have this indoor and outdoor stages. This is very much electronic music. Electronic dance music. Um, you can get all information on DublinCityBlockParty.net. Weekend tickets are sold out, but there are still day passes for the Saturday or the Sunday, uh, which are available. The big um, big one for me is Todd Terhey. And it's an all day thing. It's, what's it's sort of, what sort of vibe like? It's going to be like sort of sort of uh, afternoon to two p.m. until eleven p.m. So not like going right on into the wee hours, but uh, finishing up late enough uh, slash early enough that you can still go on and kick on and do something else for the rest of your night. There'll be lots of different food there. There'll be craft beers. There'll be live graffiti happening as well. So if you want to just kind of bed yourself into something over the weekend, mm -hmm. not worry about anything else, it could be a cool thing to go and do if you want a bit of a boogie. Yeah. Are you going to go to that? I am. Well, I'm 10 years younger than you. Ten, I'm, I'm 10 slash 15 years younger than you. So I probably will be. Yeah. <laughs> I got your present. Do you want to see the present? I, I I'll take anything. Present, present is a present. Present is a present. Anyway, I got you. But everybody needs. Oh. A fucking selfie stick. Oh, wow. Maybe I should take it. They're into the world, aren't they? Yeah, Look at all these people. They're all so young and good looking and, and healthy and. and these guys, look at their, their facial hair is even better than mine. Yeah. 
Yeah. Still though, I mean, if you use loads of filters and things like that, you can really, you can get a good, if you take around 50, you're bound to get one selfie. You think so, yeah? Yeah, you will, yeah. Yeah. There you go, selfie. It's the worst word ever invented, I think, selfie. No, it's not. Um, plebiscite. I hate that fucking word, plebiscite. Because that is used in on in a regular basis. It's used every now and again. Mm. When? when oh, I've got a plebiscite in my pubes. People get sick of saying referendums. They say plebiscite. You have to give me a brain fart now. Say that sentence again. Plebiscite means referendum. And when people get tired of saying referendum, they'll say plebiscite. I hate the fucking word. I also hate the word panties. Not panty. Panty's cool. Panties. You know the American for, for knickers? Panties is a great word. Panties is a fucking horrible word. Oh, it's horrible. I'm sorry. It is a fucking brilliant word. In, in, a, in, in that American accent, panties. Oh, I panties. I hate it. Ah! Stop. You are no. the only man I have ever met that does not think that word is a great word. Okay. I know, I hate the word. And I hate the word um, genteel. Fucking hate genteel. Yeah, okay. I can get that why you might hate duvet. that. Duvet. Don't like duvet. Should I, have I opened a can of worms here? Yeah. Go on, any other ones? Flan. I don't like flan. I thought you were going to say flange. Is there a place called The Minge? No. The Minge was kind of a Dublin city centre hedonism hideout. The Minge was mythical. The Minge was magical. The Minge was a den of hedonism. Uh, the Minge played host to huge DJs who would turn up there. Having played a set in Dublin, they would end up in the Minge. The guys who ran the Minge yeah. slash lived there, they eventually lost the Minge. They lost the building, they lost the place. They could no longer hold their parties there. And a gang of them decamped to Berlin. The crew who were involved in the setting up of it and the running of it, they then opened a label. They started up this label and they started releasing things for... DJs. And on Saturday night, they are taking over Tengu, which is just at the back of Yamamori there on the okay. keys. Kicking off around sort of eight o'clock, but they'll go right on through the night to late. There's there's a quite a few people playing at. Uh, first up is Lay Fox, who used to be called just Fox. Uh, Brendan Power is his proper name. Timothy Blake is going to be there. That big headliner is Eddie C, very good Canadian uh, DJ. Does a lot of kind of hip-hop, acid house, disco, quite a bit of disco um, right. and stuff. And he's like, he's a superstar. He goes around the world. He plays fucking New York, plays in Paris, plays in Australia, wherever, you know. Okay. Um, so he's quite a big deal. Very, very good. Okay, so that's in Tengu, uh, kicking off 8 o'clock, and it's free in as well. Not everybody wants to do music, 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 and it, it could be a bit of an iffy weekend for weather, so I have to mention the IFI Open Day, which is happening tomorrow. It's on all day in the IFI, free screenings of a range of stuff, some really cool things uh, are being screened. They've Quite got the old 1933 King Kong, it's right. going to be there. They've got uh, The Neon Demon, which is the new film by Nicholas Minding Ref. Did you ever see Drive? Remember the... Um, I loved Ryan Drive. Gosling, so it's yeah. his new film. Ooh. That's going to be previewing at it. These okay. are free now, mind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Disco Pigs, really famous Enda Walsh play that was made into a great film. Um, directed by Kirsten Sheridan, starring Killian Murphy. That's going to be added as well. Uh, the idea of this, you turn up an hour before the screening starts. Go online, ifi.ie, have a look at the schedule. You go an hour beforehand and you just queue for the ticket and you get two per person. And um, the IFI is lovely for a little coffee beforehand while you're waiting. Or a pint beer, or some chicken yeah. wings, whatever as well. You know, you can do it there. Uh, so uh, this is strongly recommended as well. For, nice one. Because not everyone wants to go and do music, not everyone wants to be outdoors. And uh, it's another cool thing to do right in the heart of the city centre. Yeah. So, do you know what I'm fucking take one? You know it. Yeah. You know it. Oh. I might actually buy those. If you stop eating sweeties. Lidl. Lidl? Mm-hmm. Bloody Lidl, eh? Yeah.